How's it? Hang loose. Alright. Today is Friday, August 7th. And should I be surprised? <gasps> Actually, this was inevitable. I don't know what the cases were today. It's something like 150. Oh, it should be right here. It's 150. Not quite down. Not good enough. 152 cases for like yesterday, I think. Okay, so Hawaii shut down again. And that means the beaches, the state parks are closed. Hawaii sees 152 cases. Park go. go Arkin Vista shut down. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought there were bold points on that. But there's a 14 day quarantine for inter island travel. So if you go to the neighbor island, you gotta say 14 days quarantine. You come back from another island, 14 days quarantine. Mask everywhere. And no more gatherings outside, I'll imagine, too. So, yeah. On the inside of the paper, it says recreationists create, react to closures. Everyone's going to be reacting to closures. This is going to be news all over the place for, I don't know, days. I don't know, long time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The other news, so let's cover a little quick. The other news is mail in ballots for Hawaii, right? There's like a couple more days to mail in your ballot. They send you vote by mail. Actually, it's all vote by mail right now. And historic high. Just the ballots they got in, just the ones that came in are more than all the votes cast last time in the election. I can understand why mail-in ballots, that's uh, some people don't like that stuff now, I say. Mm -hmm. And plasma helps with recovery from COVID, but in Hawaii there's not enough cases for plasma from recovered patients. So this lady doctor's like, well, one thing about the surge, she calls it the surge, click the purge. <laughs> Here comes the purge. <laughs> one thing about the surge is we're going to have a lot more recovered donors for plasma. <laughs> Blah. We'll have more plasma. <laughs> What's going on with the world? Oh, and by the way, shut down it says starting 12.01 a.m. <laughs> God, that's a good cheapy Trump, Trump shirt. 1201 a.m. Saturday so basically let me rephrase that midnight tonight that's what that means do, do, do. midnight tonight so let's get into this little bit here um, because I think I want to delve into letters to the editor. La 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 la. Humor falls in Star Trek spin-off. <laughs> They're doing a humor Star Trek thing. It says, uh, well, you know, when your primary source of humor over the years has been making fun of Vulcans and androids who have no sense of humor, well, you see the issue. I'll tell you the issue here of trying to make a funny Star Trek. Trekkies, brah. I mean, I remember the old Star Trek. I was gonna, once in a while. It's kind of funny to watch now. But you got a bunch of Trekkies, man. They get serious and you start making android jokes and Vulcan jokes and you have freaking riots and stuff like that. I don't know if that's exactly what's going on there. Governor, uh, the scientists seek the point. Scientists will seek point where wolves become dogs so they can make wear soldiers. That's why they're doing that. I just have to have the inside scoop. See, I hate calling me once in a while. So I just have to ask me questions. Hey, pre quid pro quo. You ask me a question, I ask you a question. Just kidding. Beaches, parks, closed. Boom. And HBDs are cracked out on rule breakers. They're on television just earlier going, 
We get so many calls. They keep calling us, especially in Wiki Key. They keep calling us. Well, duh, you left it open. Instead of having little patrols going on out there, right, on their own, they said, well, we're just going to have the regular patrols and have you guys, we're relying on you guys to call us for, you know, respond. So now they get a bunch of phone calls. They're not wearing a mask. They're having a party. Look, look at that. Come on. And $600 a week for the unemployment. It's going to be hitting, it's going to be hitting hard. Okay, I'm trying to make this too long. Of course. I thought they made this long I was bombazzled. Like a poster. Poster. Oh, right. Thumbnail. <laughs> oh, I gotta make, try to make funny, but then I had to live with the thumbnail picture. It's like, oh, shit, stupid picture. Okay, it's a little cartoon. COVID's the shark, and he's like the lifeguard. He's off duty. Ha ha. All right. Let's get into these here. These, these are fun ones. Okay, I think they might be fun. Let's see what's going on here. Because this shows the temperature, finger and pulse, of the attitude of the public who get to who get their letters show picked. It's not like everybody, right? Here we go. Postmaster General undermining UPS. New Postmaster General Trump, crony, is destroying long-held postal schools. <laughs> the actions are designed to show use mail-in voting in November election will cause thousands of ballots to be lost or delivered late to the population is what is slowed. Interesting, in the very year America households have sent millions of Christmas cards to packages without problems. She's saying his complaint is unfounded. It can't handle it all. It's like, just think Christmas cards. So, if that's not the reason, Eileen says, or are there darker reasons? Hmm. Such as President Trump's problems with Jeff Bezos. Or to aim to split up the service, UPS, and sell it to his friends. See, uh, thanks, Eileen. Yeah, you're catching up to speed. Man. See, Hawaii is always behind the times by at least six months. I went to LA, doo -doo -doo -doo, university. Ah, this music. I come back to Hawaii. Oh, you gotta hear this music. And everyone's like not interested. And then six months later, that same music is all popular. It's like six months behind. This is music. We're in the we're in the mid, I'm in the Middle Ages. Eileen, yeah. Here's what's happening. He no like the post office because overwhelming popular vote might kick him out of office. The electoral might, might, might look the electoral it might make the electoral college look like something to get rid of. It should be gotten rid of, but it's going to be obvious. All right, back to the deadly disease. Did you know that this deadly disease, because of wearing masks, in New York City, there's a rare disease that causes paralysis. Ugh, it must suck. And everyone wearing masks has curbed the spread of the paralysis disease. <laughs> hey, bonus. <laughs> Lockdown again it hurts more than it helps let's get to these quote uh lin l y n quote no 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 please no lock down especially closing beaches uh -huh. The number of cases in Hawaii is minuscule as a percentage of the population. Instead of the fear-mongering headlines of number of cases, where are the facts and figures on domestic abuse 
bankruptcies, suicides, uh, I lost my place, murders, and just plain depression as a result of the measures taken to stop COVID-19. Report the ages and underlying health conditions of those who die and those who contract the virus. Open up our state. Those who are fearful can take their own precautions. Do not penalize the majority of the population. This is becoming a policed state. This is not life worth living. Well, let me tell you something. Young, I imagine you're a young woman. Let me tell you something, young woman. There are hotlines for you. Please take advantage of some of these hotlines. Where are the facts and figures on domestic abuse, bankruptcy, suicides, murders, and just plain depression as a result of it? Look, all of that is not because of the COVID virus. <laughs> and if you can get on that. But here's something else. Um, the mindset. That's what I'm trying to point out here. It's not picking on this one person. Now, I'm just making fun of the mindset, which I disagree with. Because that's my opinion, that I disagree with your opinion. So we agree to disagree. I hate that. But, hey, this is my point. This is my view. This is my stance. I disagree with that framework. I disagree with that attitude. And the spread of that attitude, too. Wear a mask for that. <sighs> Look, it's not a policed state. This isn't a punishment. It's not go to your room, you're a bad dog, even though I made fun of that. Oh, by the way, check out my exorcist. Five, five fun facts. True facts. Father, Father Martin, real life. Yeah, exorcist. He's dead, though. <sighs> Subscribe. Like. Hey, thanks for all that. Watch all time. Watch all long time. We're on lockdown. Shut down. We're, we're cooped in her little hamster wheels. Okay. Okay. But seriously, this is not a punishment. This is a real life, deadly precaution. <laughs> we're becoming. We got to watch out that people don't take advantage that is they don't turn it into a police state or the people that are taking economic advantage of the situation so there are things to watch out about i give you that but i don't let those fear mongers make fear into people and they can wear their masks but open up the beaches <gasps> okay number two i was getting into the countdown mode Green needs to stop alarmist statements. Green is a lieutenant governor who's also a medical doctor. Lieutenant Governor Josh Green was quoted as saying that a second shutdown may be needed, now he quotes, with only essential work occurring to keep ourselves alive, unquote. A previous article, I'm sure it was covered. There we go. While I understand the lieutenant governor's perspective on the need for vigilance and data-driven decisions, this is another example of alarmist statements made by Green that do nothing to solve the problem and escalate fear within the community. Yes, now they play all cool-headed, right? Calm, rational, cool-headed. Switch here. Yes, COVID-19 is a deadly pathogen that deserves all our attention. However, Suggesting that COVID 19's less than 1% mortality rate will kill everyone in its path is dishonest, misleading, and an irresponsible and fear mongering use of his position as a physician and elected leader. Thank you, Kyle. I wish I could. Get my hands around your little neck and pull up your mask over your face. <laughs> no, I mean you no harm. <laughs> but what? 
Okay, so Kyle here from Mikiki is basically saying that he, the town governor, is throwing out things that are going to scare people to, you know, get them to do things and mask up and stuff like that. Social distancing, mask up, that's like your basic. And the, once again, less than 1% mortality rate. It's only less than 1%. You're going to be the one that dies. But more specifically, beyond the mortality rate, is the transmission rate is deadly subtle. It will spread all over. And before next thing you know, it's not children under 18, old people, your grandmother, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle. In you, your friend, your lover, your significant other, you, the one that gives them this. They get hospitalized and they're in deep kimchi. Hospital here is right at that peak. Hospitals are right at that peak, being overloaded. It's a no-brainer. Of course it was a shutdown. Yeah, okay, here we go. I just, <laughs> I'm glad it was a little bit early. Midnight tonight! Because this is a good thing. We need it. Because people are being irresponsible. And attitudes like this, just saying it's fear-mongering, yeah, they shouldn't have the mother-loving life scared the hell out of them to put masks on. Because most of the problem of spread and transmission is being done by people who don't think it's a harmful thing. Don't think it's a a formidable threat. It's less than 1%. Go to the beach. Hundreds of people went rock party and there's a big spike. All these people go thinking it's nothing and it's a big spike. Vanity. Vanity. All is vanity. I got that material from Ecclesiastes. <laughs> Gonna protect myself from the an NP, never mind. <laughs> Parallel subjects going. But fear mongering, yeah, they need a taste of it. Because you know why? People don't act like they're scared. They're act like they're I'm not being punished by my my Uncle Sam daddy. He's a police state and I'll do what I want to because I'm a free bird. I'm a special snowflake. Mm -mm -mm. You're not gonna trample on I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> now let's look at another view. Usually they do it both sides. This one, short. Michael or Michelle? I don't know, Michael. I think it's Michael. I am. Raise mask sign. Mask please. Raise mask please signs to encourage wearing. Time for the mask patrol. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Send out the bat signal, the mask patrol. Picture this: volunteers in their pers in their personal cars. It says, "Picture this, awesome." Picture this: volunteers in their personal cars cruising the islands in areas frequented by walking or gathered people, some or all not wearing their masks. A passenger in the mask control car would signal the driver to stop uh, or tap on the horn to get their attention. Mask, please! Signs would be displayed on the volunteer's car. Embarrassing? Hopefully. God, where's the world gone to? We're going to hell in a handbasket. We went from fear-mongering to embarrassing. You know what? Embarrassing them would work. Peer. Peer to peer. What do my peers think? I'm a special snowflake. <laughs> it's the motion. La, 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 la. And then some more practical solutions. I like that one though, that's good. It's like, you know, show support. Mask. Does have like skull and crossbones? Skull and crossbones with a mask. Or they should have people going, making more. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're free to, you know, use that. 
how come no one has did the Snoopy cartoon in school? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How come no one did that yet? I just did it, so I guess. It's my, I claim it, Mongoose Invasion, where humor comes to die. <laughs> Carl Thomas wrong about a okay, yeah, 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 I saw that. Yeah, yeah, he did fine. Yeah, R.I.P. Uh, um, the guy. But Carl, what was that name? Lewis. I thought he was a boxer. Lewis <laughs> Congressman. He was a hell of a congressman. You know, all the way back there to civil rights with Martin Luther King Jr. Esquire. And where was that? Oh, here. Let COVID-19 positive people reveal info. See, here's the thing. COVID-19, you catch, someone catches it, you, me, whatever, you catch it, you get diagnosed, oh shit, I have it. They have to have special care about that because you can, you can easily die. I've seen, there's a bodybuilder. He's like this close to death. So, no joke, right? But afterwards, it's medical information. <clears throat> it's called the RIPA. It's RIPA Act or something. It it protects your medical information from being spread around. So you have to give consent to say that you had it. So, but if they do that, they can contact trace faster. So he's like, let COVID page positive people reveal information. Let them do it. You should be encouraging them. Say, like, hey man, I, you got it. You got it. Hey, uh, proud to have it. But don't be embarrassed. See, embarrassment keeps this stuff secret. And people don't want their businesses. They keep it secret. Well, it's secretive to it. If, it's, if they get that transparent, woohoo! We're on our way to rounding up the knuckleheads. <laughs> I don't need a mask. So, here we go. Midnight tonight. Don't stay up late. But always. Breathe deep, think happy thoughts, think of something special that you love, and breathe deep, and hang loose, hang loose, be happy, and laugh at it, while you can. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs>